do the mother frigging Pisces. Pisces, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Gifted Hermit, guys. No introductions. I'm just going to shuffle and see what comes up for Pisces. All right. General reading. If it resonates, smash the thumbs up. All right. What doesn't resonate, just let it slide, all right? I'm going to keep it general as possible, Pisces. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I'm in London. My name's Leela. If you'd like to, let me know where you reside in the world. Always intrigued to know. Always, always. Oh, that's how I know we're ready to start, because on the bottom of the deck, we got you, baby. So, yes, overall energy. Mmm. Something coming to an end, perhaps, you know, coming to the end of something almost. Uh, very highly protective, protective, highly protective energy when I always draw this card as a reader. So, you know, is something coming to an end? Are we the ending of something? And now the end is near. And so I face. The final curtain, my friends, I'll say it clear, for which my case, I'm certain. A lot of highly protective energy here, Pisces. Um, something may have occurred, an event, whether it went the way you wanted or not, I think you don't feel as good as you thought you'd feel perhaps but it's about feeling good here all right regardless um there's a need for you to stand your ground someone needs to stand their ground here someone's standing their ground and they've got their own little protective bubble may feel like some of you the world is at you or people are at you but you stand your ground, Pisces. Do what you got to do, all right? Maybe next month is some sort of exifference here. So this is it. So this is uh, new chapters coming in. That's what I see here, Pisces. New chapters here. A new way of seeing life. <laughs> you know, trying to be independent. What Some of you are, you know, considering to be single but not wanting to be single. You know, I definitely pick up on that. I'm picking up on... Wanting some sort of emotional freedom or satisfaction, not feeling emotionally satisfied. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it may require you to really use your intellect. But yes, again, highly protective energy here. Looking after yourself, Pisces, is what I'm picking up here. You know, um, doing whatever it takes. Taking it to the end. If you got to take it to the end, you will take it to the end. It might not be exciting. Family is important here. Friendships are important here. I feel the need to say it as well. Some of you may be deciding to travel or, you know, you've held back your travel plans. You may have... Uh, Changed plans in some way. Someone's being mean here. Someone's being mean. But I think it's for good reason. Some of you are uh, saving, you know. Mm. What else do we see here? Possibly someone coming back from the past, but you, you're going to get taken back by it. <laughs> You're not wanting it. Someone's not wanting something to end, perhaps, with you, Pisces. For some of you, someone is not wanting something to end. Someone is not wanting a friendship to end. You know, there's there's promising times ahead. That's what I see here. So again, just to summarise, you know, something perhaps coming to an end. Not wanting it to but a chapter may be perhaps closing, which is going to be good for you. There may be an event or there was an event or there's going to be an event 
where you're going to have to stand your ground, Pisces. You're going to really have to hold your ground, okay? And keep that peace within. Try to keep that harmony. Don't let the devil come knocking, all right? There's a need for you to perhaps, perhaps, you know, really release, release something here in order for you to feel free. Hmm. Some of you are definitely not interested in the ex. If the ex is back, or you're letting go, <clears throat> or you're not wanting to hear an apology, you know, someone may try to communicate with you, but you're just not interested. <laughs> this is self-love. Family, friends, keeping the people around you that mean the most to you. Still trying to smile. Despite any events or mishaps, right? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Angel guided messages, please. <clears throat> Missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So I definitely feel like maybe there is a sulker. I'm not saying it's you, but someone may be sulking, okay? Too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. Well, it did come out reversed, you know, so I'm really hoping you guys are looking after yourself, okay? And you are. <laughs> Some of you, yeah, you may not be accepting help from others. Or maybe you are. Maybe you're open to all the help that you get, all right? Chapters are definitely ending here, though. I'll put that out there, Pisces, you know. That's definitely the theme here. We've got the Nine of Cups again. Your wishes will come true. Concerns will fade away. And a love of life, you know. Concerns will fade away. Let it go. Be free. That was a quick reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Show some love. And I'll catch you real soon, Pisces, okay? From the Gifted Hermit. Take care.